Greetings everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel Alex here and this morning it's 8 a.m. in the morning I just prepared myself for duty I'm flying to Sydney Australia this morning one of those ultra long haul flights 14 hours yeah excited about it because at the end of it a 36 hour layover is waiting for me so yeah let's get the day started Beautiful day in Abu Dhabi and here's a view of the airport before we embark on this journey. Today we are flying the older Boeing 777 and this plane has a soul. have a full meal service in business class and it's quite a busy flight. I love flying during the daytime but uh, I was looking forward to my in-flight sleep. Long flights have mandatory crew rest time between services. Generally the Boeing 777 comes equipped with uh, 8 bunk beds for cabin crew and 2 for pilots. The bunk beds aren't small by any means, they have 2 meters in length, so I can fit comfortably here. There's more sleeping space in a bunk than a fully flat seat in business class can offer, so you can imagine we get a good night's rest. Sleep time depends on how long the flight is. There is one reading light, one mood light, extra air vents, an oxygen mask compartment in case of decompression, a seat belt of course, and a few other safety features. There are stowages where I can put my things, a hanger for clothes, and of course a curtain to close the bunk. I don't know about you, but uh, I can sleep much better on board with earplugs. They cancel most of the airplane white noise, so yeah. Sweet dreams, everybody! We arrived early, around 6 am Sydney time, and uh, it's safe to say that after 14 hours in flight your body is quite tired and needs some fresh air and a proper bed. Oh, look at this Boeing 777, with its massive engines, a sight to be seen. have reached our destination Sydney Australia down under the land of kangaroos obviously there is no kangaroos here in Sydney I assume although I'm not sure but uh, anyway I had a long flight ladies and gents the flight was 13 hours and a half the capacity of our aircraft the Boeing 777 is 40 passengers in business class and 340 in economy and every single seat on this aircraft was full absolutely every single one it was a nice flight a busy flight for us cabin crew but uh, rewarding nevertheless now this is my hotel room i assume i already presented this hotel room in one of my older videos so i'll not go through through that i'm, I'm not going to present it to you once more one interesting thing is that many times a hotel room that we go to has an airline staff menu so it's a designated menu for us that's cheaper than the normal uh, rates that's an interesting fact they have an airline menu uh, one other interesting thing about this hotel room is the freaking view that i have the view is amazing oh yes finally a nice view so this is my view you can see in the distance the skyline of sydney that's the harbor area right you can see it right there 
the harbor bridge basically and you can see it there a bit of the opera house right there yes that is the opera house and we're roughly 20 minutes away walking from the opera house in this hotel so that's pretty cool that we have access to the city all together we're not too far from the center so yeah i really like that yes now of course it's a bit cold and cloudy in sydney nowadays obviously the weather is upside down here as well what is the layover time here in Sydney? I have 36 hours. That is one day and a half. So plenty of time to go explore things, plenty of time for me to get some rest, recharged in order to be productive on my next flight and energetic very important right but until that time ladies and gents i will leave you so thank you very much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you're not subscribed yet i hope you enjoyed this type of content that i'm making especially lately with the aircraft and such and more details about the aircraft i'm going and the routes and so on and so forth obviously i'm switching up my content a little bit so yeah let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about uh the new content that i post yeah okay like subscribe comment bye bye take care until next time Just a small addition, just wanted to say, sometimes you can have breakfast before you sleep. Not necessarily in the morning or after you wake up, but before you sleep. So I'll have the breakfast, I will have it and then I will go to sleep. Yes. Bye bye, ladies and gents.